up, Cole. And here we are, guys and girls, outside of the booking secret lair. So we're gonna go in and investigate, break some noses, break some minds as we try to figure out what really is going on with Mr. Hammond here. A blonde woman just came in here. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. How much did she collect? $3,600. She cleaned me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door? Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. Hmm, can we see anything from her her call? Why would she write it and not take the notepad? Maybe she's stressed. What are you doing? An old intelligence trick from the Marines. Why oh, didn't we do this before? Yeah, the shading. I don't know how this works, but apparently it does. A nice address we're getting here. We'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it. Hollywood something. There's Hollywood, what do we got up here? Examine your drugstore. In Hollywood. We know where she's headed, let's get moving. Hmm, okay. Let's go to it, Roy. Man the vehicle. It's time to move. It's rock and roll, buddy. Gotta go to the Examiner drugstore. Let's set our location. Get out of here. Go check it. Eleven K, Eleven King. Further to your request, Bunko Fraud has three known bookmakers operating out of storefronts in the Hollywood area: Thrifty Liquors, 6106 Santa Monica, The Examiner Drugstore, and a Max Spirits at 1658 North Cherokee. KGB Elfier. Hmm. Hammond backed himself to win, and Candy is picking up the winnings. Smart play. Question is. Is Candy collecting on Albert's behalf, or is she cheating him too? Got quite the, uh, the case brewing here, as Albert and Candy are in on something devious, and Candy may be on something double devious after they promise to flop the fight, and they don't, and then they bet on themselves, and money's exchanging hands, and bad things are afoot. Kolo King says, what's up? All right, so we're gonna get where we need to go, and then we also have another place, Ray's Bookstore, to check out. Not sure why we need to go there, but maybe we can get some more info from the bookmaker somewhere else. What's up? Here we are at the drugstore. Bookmaker's office, 5.11 p.m. Rundown drugstore. Uh-oh. Make way for the king. Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleaners. 4,000 clams and change. How long ago did she leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. Go check out the card. That guy's a weird, really froggy voice. <laughs> All right. Yellow cab company. Yellow cab. We need to get after her fast. All right, let's go. Why are we using a telephone? I guess we're going to call about the cab. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Can you connect me to the yellow cab company? Hollywood 2187, please. This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood? Yes, sir. I've sent one round from the pool. Do you have the number of that cab? Number 179. Thanks. We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place. Hmm, who's Ray? Oh, the other... Is the other bookkeeper that we're looking for? The drugstore, Albert Hammond. Is Ray the other, uh, I'm guessing he's the other bookkeeper. Let's talk to this guy. Do you have any idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. Not now, Mervyn. Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor at the best of times. 
Where he runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. All right. I don't know if we should go check him out first, or check out the cab first, or what. Roy, what do you think here? Because we can go after... Oh, I guess we have to go to Ray, Ray's Bookmakers first. Before we find the cab. Good deal. Whoa! Ow! Ow! <laughs> Christ! Sorry, Roy. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please forgive. The broad's planning on cleaning out every bookmaker in town. Hammond needed to make sure he was getting a bigger payday than if he'd taken the flop. Never trust the limeys, especially where a fight's concerned. A mistake we can't seem to stop making. Hmm, so he was... He was really the one making out good. He promised all these people, got all the money back. We're not going to that one, it's too far away. But he, uh, he... A smart dude, Mr. Hammond here. He really knew how to work the... <laughs> work the money, alright. Going to Ray's bookstore, right here. Bookmaker's office, 5.22pm! Is that the yellow cab? I'm guessing it is. About ready to pick her up, maybe? Maybe he just dropped her off. I don't know. That's the cab waiting up ahead. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside. There she is. We're on the move again, Cole. After her. All right. Don't lose that cab. I want to go talk to Ray, but apparently we're not going to. They don't, they shouldn't, we're not in a police car, so they shouldn't be able to recognize us too easily here. Right? I assume. As we just gently throttle the gas because they're driving the slowest Careful, we'll get spotted taxi in the distance. world. Mm -hmm. Can you please drive your tax? Like, it'd be nice in these missions if the taxi would, like, speed away, like when you want her to... You got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. When he want her to, or she want, she want him to speed away quickly, like step on it. Isn't that what they say? Hammond is full of himself. Being this sure he was gonna win. Spook them. Back into traffic, Phelps. Now. There's no traffic for me to be in, boys. I'm sorry. I'm staying a freaking entire road away. Let's get in some traffic, please. There we go. Stay in traffic. Let's go. Dude, the red light. <laughs> Where is this car going? I don't... Make your move, buddy. Apparently if we stay behind cars, it's better than if we just, uh... And that makes sense. There's not a lot of cars following the cab. And yeah, we'll get behind these, too. Because we make our nice... We're gonna... Oh, jeez. Red light. I forgot these were rule obeying citizens. Good work, guys. I can't blame you. Let's follow in behind this car here. That bitch has given me what I'm owed. That's all I know. Oh, great. Of course, the car is dropping someone off. Absolutely fireproof. Fireproof. Absolutely. Cole is fireproof. He doesn't get burned by anybody. Both figuratively and literally. Hey, 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 hey. Tailing a cab here, guys. Watch out. Or actually, don't watch out. Get in my way. So I can get closer. Where do you think she's going? Back to the hotel? Back to the motel? I don't know. We're just going to kind of sit in the middle of the road here. Hopefully they don't look out their rearview mirror and see two guys in weird hats. Especially since she's seen both of us before. Quite the dangerous operation here. Very dangerous. Well, I'm trying to tell it, but it's not moving, boys and girls. The light is like red forever. <laughs> Turn green. Come on. Three, two, one. Green. 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 Please be green. Green. Green, 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 green. <laughs> Come on. Really, now we're getting quite the backup on the other side of the road. And yet, no one is moving on this side. Am I supposed to get closer? I don't even know. The light won't turn green. Oh, there we go. Okay. Pull over. He's heading inside. Uh, 
I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. Okay. Stealth action. I'm sorry, guys. I thought I was supposed to be tailing her. I didn't, no prompt that said, go get him now. So I didn't know I had to get any closer. I thought getting closer was bad. All right. Cover. Where's she going? Yeah, <laughs> he's laughing at me because I'm, uh... Because I'm... Uh-oh, someone just got shot. Holy cow. Call an ambulance. <laughs> Try and sit still, Candy. Make Who shot you? Was it Albert? Car. I... They're on the way. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend. Using his girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split. He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. Okay, number one, Cole, you better wash your hands. You're just touching blood. Number two, that was the most unrealistic looking blood splatter in the world as it was coming out of her chest. And number three, I thought Hammond was an honorable guy doing the right thing, not taking the flop, but apparently he's a freaking murderer. There's the gun. Hmm. Thirty-two caliber. One shot fired. One shot, one kill. That's all you need. Poor lady. I mean, she was being devious too, but I don't think she expected to get killed. The Egyptian theater. Well, that's where they were before. That's the other side of the ticket, I think. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So, what now? The theater, I guess. We don't have much else to go on. Can we drive a bus? That would be amazing if we could drive a bus. I would like to drive a bus. Will it let us. Oh, come on, please. Please let us drive a bus. No! Oh, that would have been amazing. I really thought it might let us. That would have been sweet. Can we drive one of these tinier buses? That's not really tinier. It looked smaller, but I was crazy, apparently. All right, Roy, we gotta go. Let's get back in our car. Make our way over to the theater. I don't know what we're gonna find there. Some evidence, maybe he's hiding in the theater. He's gotta be smarter than that. Don't you think he would've taken off, left town? Cola King. Hmm. All right, back in the car. Back on the road. Egyptian theater. Heritage movie theater. I'm not sure why we're going here or what we're gonna find there, but maybe they have some info and Maybe they overheard something or something. That's all I can think of. I don't know. We'll drive there and see what's up. Roy, you have anything to say to us? She didn't deserve that. Poor girl. Half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her. You need to leave town a lot quicker than that if you decide to screw over Mickey C. Dun, dun, dun. All right, here we go. Let's get to the theater. Hopefully it's pretty. Egyptian theater, 9.05 p.m. Nice and tiny here. A cool decor, hopefully. Cola King. This seems like a long shot. Aren't they all? Car 11 King, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. A message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. KGB all clear. He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea cocksucker. You think he got the money too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. Maybe it wasn't Hammond. Maybe it was, what's his name, Carlo or whatever that guy's name was, the guy with the knife earlier. Hmm. Who is ready for a movie? What comes out this week? Super 8? Let's go see it, Roy. Two tickets for Super 8. What does this sign say back here? Whichever way you turn, fate sticks out a foot to trip you. Meh. 
It's not very friendly. We got a cafe going on over here with pool. We got quite a bit, and now we're gonna enter the theater itself. A nice waterfall, Egyptian artwork. I like this place. Hopefully, it's just as cool and decorative inside. Why'd you kill us, Carlos? You brought was his mate. <sighs> she was collecting the money for you. Mickey made it clear it's either me or you, and, and I intend to keep on living. Uh oh, it was Carlos, like I thought. Where are they at? Can't go upstairs. Battling it out here in the movie theater, apparently. Black screen. Load screen. Hold on, Betty Slit. She was running out on me. Then you were gonna let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dive. Everyone wanted me to take a short money. It's for the best. Thing. You were washed up, kid. You couldn't climb, and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere. Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost the fight, it wasn't for lack of trying, and it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much, but I had that. I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself. So did little boy. You did it and made a quick buck. Candy did it and make your dream come true. Blah, blah, blah. I've got the money. All I need to do is get rid of you. It's going to be a shame, kid, but that's business. We've heard enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon. You're making a big mistake, Arcaro. Uh oh, shoot out of Arcaro. We're gonna take him out of the movie theater. Sit down, son. Reload and get him. Hit this guy. Okay, fine. Uh oh, he's got more dudes, more goons. I like this movie theater shootout. That's pretty awesome. Come on, Cole. How was it, dead man? Yeah. We gotta get out of here. Go upstairs now? Yes. Oh, yes. Throw out the guns. Boom, buddy. You're dead, too. No. Sit down, dude. Where is our character? Can we jump over the balcony? No, Cole. Apparently, you're not that acrobatic. Oh, we got him. Good. It's time to come out now, Hammond. Put the gun down, Roy. That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Scania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. Fuck you! That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps! Donnelly and the Homicide Squad send their best, Phelps. They're more than pleased that you wrapped up the Edwards killing. They're a little mystified about the motive. You have any ideas on that? Uh, crime of passion, sir. Uh, looks like some sort of love triangle between the manager, the fighter, and uh, uh, his girlfriend. No sign of the scrapper? No, sir. Looks like he left town after the fight. Okay. It's Homicide's problem now. Good work, gentlemen. Alright, that was a easy case. Only three questions asked. Albert Hammond sells for England after inexplicably vanishing from police custody. I'm not sure what the last little line about the, the, the ship selling from New York was about, but he's out of here. We wrap that up. That's episode 50. Hope you enjoyed the case there. I thought it was pretty good. I enjoyed the running around. I enjoyed the little stealth party. It was a little bit finicky. 
Now on to more. I don't think Roy is going to be as big of a friend as he was before. Not very happy that we made him lose his money, but Cole always trying to do the right thing. I'm proud of you, sir. I'm proud of you, Mr. Phelps. And I'm proud of all you guys. Thank you very much for sticking with me for 50 awesome episodes. And until the next one, hit that like button. Have a fantastic day. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.